The U.S. is reportedly taking further indirect action against Iran to delay a possible Israeli strike against the country. Although saying it will not back such an attack, Washington could be under pressure from Israel to declare certain red lines over Tehran's nuclear program. Oshie's policy now reports. For some time now, there have been indications that Tel Aviv might be considering a strike on Tehran and that such a strike could be imminent. What we're hearing now are rumblings from the American administration that it is putting all steps on the table, that it is employing all steps short of war to try and prevent the Israelis from going this route. At the same time, it is also trying to force Tehran to take negotiations more seriously, and these are negotiations over its nuclear program that until now have stored. We are hearing from high-ranking, unnamed American officials that the United States and 25 other countries will be participating in the largest ever mine-sweeping exercise in the Gulf, and that this is an attempt to prevent any kind of efforts by Iran to block oil exports through the Strait of Hormuz. At the same time, Washington is completing a new radar system in Qatar that will combine with already existing radar systems in Turkey and in Israel, and that together these will form a broad arc of anti-missile coverage. Now, these developments are out in the public, but they do come on the back of rumors that are going on in private, and that is that Israel would never consider any kind of military action on Iran unless it had American support. Whether or not this is true is impossible to say. But certainly any kind of Israeli action would result in a full-scale regional conflict. And at the same time, the United States, by publicly not supporting a war, is certainly trying to ensure itself against any kind of future Israeli action. Paul Islia, RT, Tel Aviv. And Stephen Zunes, Professor of Politics and International Studies at the University of San Francisco, thinks war with Iran will devastate both sides. I think there is an awareness uh, in the Pentagon, in the White House and elsewhere that uh, war with Iran would be a disaster. I mean, even putting aside the moral concerns, the legal concerns about, uh, about, about such a conflict, uh, the war games and other scenarios they have been looking at all come out to the same conclusion. The costs badly outweigh the benefits. And so uh, the United States, as concerned as they are about nuclear, uh, about Iran's nuclear program, want to do whatever they can to avoid war. The Israeli general staff, the top generals, they've done similar ca uh, calculations that the Pentagon has and, uh, and recognize that it really be, it would be a, be a non-starter, that it would be a disaster for Israel. Uh, it has law would unleash you know thousands of rockets uh, into uh, in, into Israel uh, Iran itself has a, a non-nuclear uh, arsenal of, of missiles that could do a lot of damage and and certainly uh, on balance Israel could, could do more harm to Iran than Iran could be to Israel it certainly would not set back their nuclear program to any substantial degree in fact if anything it would give the Iranians a motivation to uh, to actually uh, branch off from what's, as far as we know, so far as a civilian uh, program into actually developing nuclear weapons.